Hi, everybody. Welcome to the listening log for Friday, February 9th, 2024. Here's what I've been spinning lately. Uh, and I will start with Richard and Lyndon Thompson Hard Luck Stories, the box set. I'm still working my way through this one. And I was listening in particular to First Light, which I think is a, a really wonderful album by them. It doesn't quite get enough attention, but songs like Pavan and First Light are real standouts on that one. And also Sweet Surrender, Strange Affair. And it's got like about one, two, three, four, five, about six bonus tracks, some uh, lots of demos acoustic demos so that was the one i was listening to in a car while commuting also uh, i was into this uh, scott walker five classic albums set this is these are five albums by scott walker including scott scott two scott three scott four until the band comes in and in particular i was listening to scott three you can see these come in the uh, mini lp jackets and Scott four Scott Walker is an acquired taste uh, he, once you get used to his crooning style uh, you will discover that um, he's got some incredibly uh, eclectic interests in songs and songwriting so for instance on Scott four the, the lead off track is called the seventh seal if you've ever seen the Igmar Bergman film You'll be at home in that song because he sort of retells the whole story of that. And uh, Scott Three, um, just uh, really, really uh, some incredible songs on there. Uh, moody, atmospheric, sort of mildly disturbing at some level. Um, uh, just, just really cool stuff. Once you acquire a taste for his, for his material, you will not be dis disappointed. Little quote on the back of Scott Four from Albert Camus A man's work is nothing but his slow trek to rediscover through the detours of art those two or three great and simple images in whose presence his heart first opened. Scott Walker, enjoying that quite a bit. In vinyl land, uh, I was listening to Norman Blake, Lighthouse on the Shore. I had half a mind to maybe trade this one in, but I think I'm going to keep it. And it just sounded good on the new turntable, the, the fluence down on the first floor. And Carolyn Hester at Town Hall 2. This is a folk, live folk album. Uh, I'm listening to side one. I still have to listen to side two again. Boy, it's been many, many years since I've heard this one. This is a, uh, you know, I'm not sure the year on this. It's clearly, oh, 1965. So it was produced and recorded by Norman Petty at Town Hall, New York City, February 13th, 1965. Okay. And she's got such a pure, powerful voice on here. Uh, one thing that struck me as kind of odd is when the audience applauds, applauds it's like super loud. And then, uh, you know, it was really cut pretty hot. Uh, but yeah, it's good stuff. I'm not sure I'll keep this one or not. I have to think it through. But if you're into the early 60s folk scene, this is vintage, vintage stuff. Now, as far as uh, streaming life, uh, I've been listening to a lot of Eugene Ormandy and the Philadelphia Orchestra. I've been super tempted by those Sony box sets that are out, but they're, they're quite expensive. There is a um, mono box of uh, earlier recordings with the Philadelphia Orchestra and also a stereo box that covers late 50s through, I think, most of the 60s. I uh, probably won't get those, but a lot of that material is available on Tidal, so I've been streaming that. And I also uh, streamed a uh, Philadelphia Orchestra with uh, Yannick Nagetsagin conducting uh, some Rachmaninoff music that came out in 2023. I think it won an award recently. And that sounded really nice too, like very balanced orchestra, um, just very lush. Um, Philadelphia Orchestra is pretty friendly to Rachmaninoff. 
and has been for since the days of Stokowski and uh, and Ormandy. And I don't think there's a whole lot else on Tidal I've been listening to, but that's a lot of classical. But that's my update for what's been spinning in my world, what's been spinning in your world in this first week of February, first full week in February 2024. Thanks for checking it out. If you have any comments on these uh, releases, I'd love to hear what you have to say. And don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you are so inclined. Thanks for tuning in, song tripping. I hope to be back soon.